Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. I here today we're going it's time to pick our pears. Uh we look on the ground, we see the leaves that begin to fall on the tree, which is unusual for this time of the year. And we also notice we have a few pears. Uh here's one here in the deep grass uh falling on the ground. When we see this starting to happen, we know that it's getting time to start picking our pears. Well this tree has done got to be enormous. So we're using a tool that I made last year, which is a long stick and a coffee can on the end of it wired to pick our fruit with. We don't have many pears this year. Our tree this year, uh, the weather has just been bad. And what few pears we have, we want to make sure we get them off before they ruin. And I'll, uh, I've got a, uh, we're going to take this and we're going to slip it up over the fruit to harvest it. And we'll just kind of push up on it a little bit. We'll get our fruit out because if fruit's so high up in the tree, there's no way we can get up there to get it. Uh, the tree just grows real tall. Okay guys, we're in the house now. We're gonna start laying our pears out here uh, along beside our sweet potatoes. Um, people ask us, how do you know when a pear is ready to pick? Well, pears, like I mentioned to you, outside ripen from the inside out. And if you wait till they start falling off the tree, then they're, they're probably deteriorating on the inside too far. So you wanna pick them ahead of time, about a week before they actually get ripe. And you'll know they're getting close because right around the top of the stem here, they start getting a little soft. When you start feeling that in some of them, you just go ahead and pick them. Bring them inside and put them in the house. Leave them in the house for about five days. That way they begin to ripen once they're off of the tree. They start ripening from the inside out pretty quick because you don't want them to be mushy whenever it comes time to can them. Now in our videos, we're going to mention that there's a card up here in the corner of the screen. This card, we've had people ask us, what is that? Well, that is an information card. It'll have a letter I in it with a little circle. If you click on that, that will take you to other videos that we have done about this particular subject because we put them in the screen so that when we talk about pairs, we already have videos up about how to can pears and stuff like that. And they'll be in this little I card you see up here. So if you click on that, it'll take you to some of our other videos and show you how we can them and preserve them and stuff like that. But, um, you know, this is the time of the year at Deep South Homestead. We try to tell people that uh, we do a lot of permaculture. Um, matter of fact, I talked to a lady this past week about about permaculture, about getting fruit trees on your homestead, being more sustainable, because at Deep South, our goal is to have something edible when you walk out that door 365 days a year to be able to find something edible to eat in order to be sustainable. And fruit trees is great for that. You can have peaches, apples, pears, nectarines, apricots, blueberries. We have uh, raspberries, we have strawberries, blackberries, dewberries, huckleberries, mulberries. You know, there's just an array of different trees. We got persimmons, chinkapins, chestnuts, uh, pecans, hickory nuts. All these things. When we walk out the door of our house, all these come in at different seasons, and that's why we promote growing fruit trees in your homestead landscape and permaculture. So just be sure to check out the information in the little card up here over my shoulder. 
um, and it will give you a lot more information about pairs and how we can them and stuff because in this video we're not going to be canning or anything like that this video is basically to tell you when to pick your pairs so thank you from deep south homestead